Hey everybody, welcome to the next tutorial video here on Duct Tape Creations. Uh, so for today's tutorial, we're showing you how to make a duct tape uh, greeting card envelope. Uh, it should be pretty cool. Uh, so I hope you enjoy, and let's Alright, so the first thing you want to do to get started working on your duct tape greeting card envelope, or just duct tape envelope, uh, you want to get the measurements for your specific uh, greeting card. Uh, so now mine is uh, 8 inches in length and 5 inches in width. Uh, so yours may be, may be different, may be the same. Uh, but just take your reading card, you can use a ruler or a cutting mat to get your measurements. And once you have those, you can cut out the uh, strips you need. Uh, so for this one, like I said, it's uh, 5 inches in width, 8 inches in length. And for that, I just need these 6 strips of tape right here that are 8 inches long. Uh, so like I said, that may differ for you. You may need more strips or less strips depending on the size of your greeting card. So what you're going to do is you're take your first strips right here. And now this will be the same for any size uh, card you have. Uh, just change up the amount of strips you have and the size depending on what you need. So now you're going to take your second one and stick this right down on top of there. Cover it with the sticky side so you have a double sided strip of tape, just like that there. So we're just going to be making a basic duct tape sheet as you normally would start off any project. So now you're going to take your third one and you're going to overlap just about, let me move this up here real quick. And you're going to overlap this just a little bit, uh, just about a quarter, about a quarter of an inch, not much, just uh, enough to actually have it stick there and have it stay, so it's really honestly not much. Uh, you can see, I'm not sure if you can see there because the color kind of blends together, but uh, there's just about, let's say about that much of a, of a, of a gap uh, of overlap. That's what I'd say anyway, about a quarter of an inch. Maybe a little less. Oh, uh, it's hard to tell really. Uh, so now you're going to take your next strip, which is your fourth, and just cover up the rest of that there. Okay. And if you're wondering, I'm using the new Scary Chevron tape from Duck Brand. Uh, which is pretty cool. Really like this tape. Uh, Alright, so now you want to have those four strips there. Uh, it should be just below. If you're using the same measurements as mine here, which is five by eight, um, once you have these four strips together stuck, uh, once you have these four strips stuck together, it should be just about to four inches in, uh, in width. So you're just gonna take these last two strips and extend it up to five inches, and leave it there. And if your if your green card is the same as mine, and then just take the last strip here and seal it up, and make a complete sheet. So just like that there. Perfect. And so you want to make you want to make sure that the greeting card fits perfectly in the center of the uh, in the sheet. So there's no uh, so there's, uh, you can see there's sides stick as so you can see the sheet sticking out from all sides of the card, uh, which is what you want. So once you have this one, then you're gonna make an exact duplicate of the sheet. And once you have both these done, we can move on to sealing these sides and bottom and making the flap for the top. So finish these sheets now. Then we can All right. Move so on. once you have your two sheets done right here, uh, we can start sealing these sides and bottom, which we're gonna do right now. Uh, so just before we start on that, you want to make sure that the greeting card fits inside these uh, perfectly. Uh, so just take the one and just line it up right in the center there, and take your other sheet and just sandwich it together to make sure that the greeting card's not showing on any of the four sides. And if it's not, it should be fine. So that's all good there. Okay. So see up these sides, you're going to need to cut out one 5 inch strip if the reading card is the same as mine. And cut that in half so you have these two little strips just like this here. And then for the bottom, you're going to need, if it's the same as mine once again, uh, you're going to need to cut out an 8 inch strip of tape. And cut that in half as well, just to save some tape here. Uh, you can leave it as one uh, solid strip, that's up to you. It will make it a little bit stronger, but uh, it should be fine either way. But this will save tape, uh, so make it however you want it. And then this strip right here, I'm not going to use it right now, but you can save this because you can use this for the flap later on. That goes over the top, so you can just put that to the side. Now, so now we're going to take your 8 inch strip here, or whatever size you need, and stick half of it right on one of your sheets. So just like this there. Okay. Actually, let me rearrange that there. It's not fully stuck on one side. There we go. Okay. And then flip that over, and just line this sheet up with the other one on all four sides. Perfect, and seal this over just like this there, so that will seal up the bottom, and you'll be good to go on that. So now the sheet's starting to take form, and then you're going to take these two 5-inch strips right here, uh, the same as mine, and just seal up the sides like you would the bottom. Stick one there, peel it over, and seal it down. So there we go. Okay, and do the same once again. Lay it down right there, peel it over, and seal it down just like that. Alright, so now you can see the pouch is right there, and that's pretty much your duct tape envelope. Now you can just take your green card right here, and it should just slide in. 
maybe a little bit tricky to get in sometimes if it's a little tight, but uh, this one came in a little bit, this one uh, so just loose enough so it fits. As you can see, it's right in there. So, awesome. Okay, let's see if I can get this out here real quick. There you go. Uh, so now we can move on to making the flap, which we're going to need that here for. Uh, so to do that, I just have it ready here. I need to just cut out four strips of tape that are the length of your greeting cards. For me, it's eight inches. Uh, and this, uh, I just like to see it be three inches in width. That's all you really need. Uh, so now you're going to do is you're just going to take your hobby, and if you're not going to cut this, just come to the corner and just come on, a, on an angle that comes to about the center of the uh, of the sheet right here. Uh, so if it's eight inches long, you're going to want to come in four inches, which would be the center of this, and just cut in from the edge and come into the center like that. So just come on an angle into four inches. Just tuck myself a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so just make enough of a crease there. Don't cut all the way through. Just make enough crease there so you, so you can see the line where you need to cut. The same thing on this side, and then you're going to grab a pair of scissors right here, and you're just going to follow the line that you cut, so for me it's right here on this side, and just cut up on that angle, just like this there, all the way up, and now you're going to do the same thing on this side, and bring it down to the center, so it should meet right there into a point. It doesn't need to be absolutely even, but uh, you can do it however you like. It doesn't, have to be, it doesn't have to be a traditional point like an envelope would have. You can make it square, you can do whatever you want with it. Now you're going to take that strip you saved uh, just before and stick it down just like that. And now you're going to take your uh, envelope right here and just stick that down right like that. Alright, and now you're going to have this little bit of access right here. You can either fold that over or just trim it off just like this. So let's hold that like that so it's in a better position. There we go. And you can do the same on this side if you have some. Perfect, and then there we go, that will shut down, and that's your duct tape envelope. You can also make this uh, bigger, you can also make this longer so it goes down to the bottom or halfway down. That's up to you, but you can see where it finishes off right here. Uh, that's pretty cool, I use purple to uh, make the inside, which I think looks really nice. Yep, that's your duct tape uh, envelope right there, pretty simple, really nice. And if you want to, you can either use some double sided tape right there, just seal it shut, or you can use Velcro, whatever you want. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, I would not suggest putting this through the mail. Uh, I if you're making one of these to give to someone, I would suggest just uh, making the envelope and having the card ready to go and giving it to them in person because you have no idea, you're, you can't guarantee this is going to make it through the mail. So just keep that into consideration and just uh, uh, put it to, give it to the person, uh, give it to your friend or whoever it is in person. That way you know they definitely get it. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Do hope you enjoy this tutorial. It's a pretty simple one for right now. Uh, I'm gonna have a. I'm work right now. I'm working on a request I got a while back. I cannot remember who it was. I haven't looked at the comment in a little bit. Uh, but she asked me if I could make a, uh, a Harley Quinn style, um, a Harley Quinn style jester hat as a tutorial, which I'm, I'm working on a design for that. So look forward to that in the future. Uh, that'll be a really cool design. Uh, so just wanted to mention that. So do hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, and if you do. Uh, or if you did, please hit that like button, it'd be much appreciated. It helps, me get, it, uh, helps get my videos out there and helps support me, so that'd be I'd much appreciated, like I said. And uh, if you've seen some of my other videos and you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button below. Uh, that would also be much appreciated. Uh, so yeah, we're getting really close to um, the 700 subscriber mark, which is just insane. I, I mean, I can't thank you guys enough. I mean, I truly love all you guys. It's just amazing that uh, I have so many supporters here on the channel. Uh, so it's nice to know that I have uh, good. Uh, I have a lot of people like my videos. Uh, so I'm not just doing this for no reason. So I really appreciate all you guys for subscribing and welcome any new ones to come. So once again, thanks for watching. And as always, just enjoy the one of those duct tape.